Hey guys, it's the Pretty Wolf and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to show you my top 5 red lipstick, especially this holiday season. Red lipstick is a must. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet and let's go ahead with the video. So as you can see, I do have my makeup on, I have lashes, and my makeup is fairly neutral because I don't want to kind of wear a crazy color and then I'm gonna wear a red lipstick. So I wanted to kind of like make my makeup as neutral as I can so that you can see the real color of this lipstick. So before we do that, I'm going to just kind of like correct my lips right here. Let me just apply a foundation around it. Okay, I'm also not going to use any lip liner. I do want you guys to see the actual color of the lipstick. So the first red lipstick that I'm going to show you, this one is from Clinique. This is the Peppermint Pop Clinique Pop Matte Lip Color Plus Primer. It's in shade Peppermint Pop number 11. So what I like about this because it comes with a primer, so it definitely prep your lips and it doesn't make like it seems drier on the lips because I think it's quite hydrating. So this one is a blue undertone matte finish and let me show you guys what I mean. Okay. Put this on. The first swipe, it definitely didn't build up right away. That's why this is like my number five. Okay, but it goes on really, really smooth and very comfortable on the lips. Alright you guys, so that is the Clinique Peppermint Pop number 11 shade. I really like the formula. The formula of this is really amazing. I wouldn't say it is 100% like true to matte. It has a little bit of like kind of like a creamy matte into it. That's why um, I like it because it's not drying but there's a lot of also like matte formula that it doesn't dry. So for this one, I give it like as my number 5. Okay, and the price is on your screen right now if you'd like to buy it for a holiday season. Okay, I am back with a clean lip. It looks so weird right now because I did put a foundation, but my number four lipstick color is so good. I actually just bought this lately. I have tried it and it's so good for the reason why it is my top five because the way how it feels on the lips is very, very comfortable. It's actually not a lipstick, it's a gloss. You've seen this, I review on this one. This is the Giorgio Armani. Um, lip magnet in shade 401. I do really love this because I think it's really perfect for like winter when everything is seems so dry and I think I do like the formula because it's actually not a lipstick. I could also like just use it like not a full-on lipstick but more of a, like a shading. It's really perfect and I would say the undertone of this one is a little bit more on the pinkier side and not like blue or warm. I'm gonna show you how this looks on the lips. As you see that like it has like a, a pink undertone to it that you can really see. So let me just build up and show you the result. Alright you guys, this is the finished result of the Lip Magnet 401 from Giorgio Armani. As you can see, it's not quite as red as uh, the Clinique one, but I definitely like the formula. It is super, super comfortable. Um, I could wear this all day without feeling like my lips is drying. And it's also not really, really matte. I would say there's a little bit of like satin finish into it because they claim this is not a lipstick, it's actually a gloss and for that, I'm impressed that it actually lasts. This is on my top 5 and this is my number 4. Alright, so that's it and now let's go ahead into my number 3. I'm sure you cannot wait to see my number 1 red lipstick shade. So let's jump into the next one. 
All right, and I am back with this weird lips lips again. And I have to say, guys, I did have a hard time removing that Giorgio Armani lipstick. I used three different makeup remover, but I made sure that I put enough um, concealer so that it doesn't really affect the next one. I'm down to my third top five um, red lipstick color. And this one is from Estee Lauder. This is um, one of my favorite ones. This is a pure color envy in decisive Poppy number 330. It is a matte finish and as you can see, I have loved this lipstick and I do like because this is actually a yellow warmer undertone and I just love it. Anything that's warm, it would look good on me of course, no question with that. But those other two reds are also beautiful. So let's dive into this one. Alright guys, so that is the Estee Lauder Decisive Poppy. That red is just so beautiful. It This like creamy matte, I wouldn't say it is like 100-100% matte because I still see a little bit of like a little bit of like sheen into it. It's not like super like true matte red. I wouldn't say that. But the way how it applies is like when you swipe it, you see color right away. Overall, it is such a beautiful formula as well. It doesn't dry my lips. You know, you can wear this with any warmer tone if you like warmer undertone that's why this is on my list so the next shade or the next lipstick is this one you know you probably have an idea this is from mac in shade ruby wool now this shade has been really really popular for a long time it made her name onto the very top but unfortunately on my side this is just my number two ruby wool is a true matte finish like it's a really nice true red matte finish it's really good it's long lasting this is also a blue undertone so let's jump into this and apply so but i would say if you have a drier lips it's probably not a good idea for you you can always wear a gloss on top of this um so let me just apply this All right, you guys, this is the Ruby Wool from MAC. As you can see, it is super, super matte. Every shade that I show you, it has a little bit of difference. I wanna show you my top five, and for me, this is my second one. Now, let's dive into my number one red, and I'm sure you cannot wait. So let me clean this up, and I'll be back in just a second. All right, guys, so I'm down to my number one red lipstick. Mm, that's it, like, period. Before I show you just this, guys, I just want to say it. Every time I wear this lipstick, there's at least one person that's asking me, oh my god, what is your lipstick? What is that lipstick? Every time I wear this, like, man, I will get compliments. So that's it. I just want to say that. I just want to put it out there. My number one red lipstick is this guy right here. This is from NARS Cosmetics, and it's the power matte lip pigment in shade star woman i know you have heard this before you have seen it somewhere but i swear you guys i would prove you why it's my number one let me just apply this shake it and apply real quick because i want you to see the shade and how it looks on me though it might not look the same on you but on me it's just crazy Oh my god, you see that? Like, it's it's so good. And alright guys, this is the look of my number one red lipstick. This is a Star Woman from Nars Cosmetics. And the reason why this is my number one, I'm sure it's obviously... You know, you can see it, right? It's a little bit more deeper, but the main thing that I do love about this lipstick, it is a matte finish, liquid, it's also very comfortable. It doesn't chop my lips, it doesn't peel my lips, it is so good, but still, it really complements my skin tone, and for that, that is my number one red ever, and like, 
I said earlier, every time I wear this, I get compliments. So I guess it's really good. So for that, guys, on that note, I think I have to end this video. I hope you like all the shades that I show you. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any red lipstick that you love and you would like to suggest it or recommend it, just leave a comment down below. And I hope you give this video a thumbs up if you find it useful and if you like it. And also don't forget to subscribe on my channel. Hit that notification bell so that you're notified whenever I upload my next video. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time. Bye guys!